State lawmakers are looking to require more oversight for do not resuscitate orders. As Mike Vasalinda tells us, people across Florida whose loved ones are in a guardianship say major reform is needed. The one thing all of the people in these photos have in common is that they were put into guardianships, isolated from their families, and their assets liquidated. Their family members came to the Capitol to tell their stories. There's no due process, so it's really open season on families. Dr. Teresa Kennedy came from New York to try and free her aunt in DeLand. A family friend who said he was a nephew, petitioned without any of us knowing, and that started it off. Lynn Saylor came from St. Petersburg. Her mom was put in a home an hour and a half away. She died in 2012, and Lynn's been fighting for change ever since. We couldn't get an emergency hearing. We couldn't get her home for any holiday while other people were coming and leaving the facility. My father, who was doing quite well financially, was left with $5 in his wallet. Hillary Hogue came from Naples. And I am begging for changes. This is happening. Thousands of people are being held captive. All of these families say they would expect what happened to they and their loved ones to happen in another country, but not here. And attempts to get a meeting with the governor have been futile until. And unfortunately, this is the only way we can make an introduction. On Thursday, they hijacked a Seniors Day event at the Capitol. It got them a meeting with the Secretary of Elder Affairs, and now they hope that that will turn into a meaningful conversation that could eventually protect Florida seniors. Reporting from the State Capitol, Mike Vassalinda, Channel 4, the local station. Along with requiring a judge to sign off on a do not resuscitate order, lawmakers are also looking to put a timeline for the state to investigate valid complaints within 45 days.